Well, just a few hours after that tragedy in Greenwood, police in Beach Grove were called to a mass shooting that left one man dead and three others wounded. The city's ambulances were actually unavailable at that time because they were assisting with the situation in Greenwood. Fox 59's Jesse Wells breaks down what we know about what happened here. Neighbors tell me this entire parking lot here at Don Chalice Park was filled with cars for a vigil Sunday night and several arguments started breaking out over several hours. Police believe one of those arguments eventually led to the shooting and Beach Grove's first homicide of the year. More than a dozen gunshots fired into a crowded park Sunday night led to a chaotic scene with three victims rushed to local hospitals and one man dead in the park. There was an argument, it appears that it may have been between two females, and then it was separated, and then somehow that, that erupted into this massive barrage of weapons being fired. Deputy Chief Tom Hurley is leading the investigation and says police spoke to nearly 40 witnesses, but didn't know if the victims and suspects actually knew each other or not. The indications I have right now is that, that they weren't, because we conducted dozens of interviews last night, and I don't and name surfaced. Police do think multiple suspects fled in a newer white Toyota Camry seen in this surveillance picture. That car may have also had a window shot out. We're tired of this. We're tired of the violence. Stop. Beach Grove's mayor hopes the suspects are quickly caught and calls the incident isolated, targeted, and rare for the city. The whole message that I wanted to Get out to the residents of the city is that we are all right. We are a good city, but sometimes evil finds us. The mayor also believes the criminal justice system needs to impose tougher penalties on lawbreakers to reverse the rise in violence across central Indiana in recent years. Local prosecutors have to step up and prosecute these people for gun crimes. We can't continue down this road. Again, because no arrests have been made, anyone with information on the case can still contact the Beach Grove Police Department. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. There is a community prayer vigil scheduled for this evening to honor the victims of both shootings. And as well, of course, that includes the one at Greenwood Mall. That's at 7 p.m. at Resurrection Lutheran Church on East Stop 11 Road and the South Side. Oh,